I've got this old Weber mini grill and the legs are falling off of it. There's no way to repair the legs, so I figured I'd uh, modify it to hang my chains off of my uh, tripod for my bonfire. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I've had other priorities, so got a little bit of time. I'll knock this out right now. So 15 minutes later and the project's complete. Now I have a functional grill. Brought a steak up and I'll be cooking that later on. So there's been a lot of rain in the forecast lately. Cisterns are full and I'm making sure that I fill up all my water jugs in case it stops raining and my cisterns go empty. At least I have the water jugs full. So the Dutch oven usually hangs off of this tripod and now I have a functional grill. All right, got the last two drawers done. Now on to the reloading bench, cabinet, desk, whatever you want to call it. Big mess in here right now. You get these drawers installed and put the divider in. So once I get that divider installed, then I'll figure out my shelf spacing and uh, get some shelves put in there. I got some sanding to do, staining, and then uh, I'm gonna epoxy the base like I've done to all the other cabinets. So that's the plan. So this birch plywood only has one good side and that's why I have this additional quarter inch piece of plywood in there. Good side facing out and the other side has the good side facing the shelves. I'll staple this uh, quarter inch piece in when I'm finished securing the uh, three quarter inch divider.
these pocket hole uh, dowels, I'm going to go ahead and sand them down. I'm going to have to stain it in epoxy. I'll just sand the ones that are down here. The ones that are above in the drawer area, I won't have to do anything with them. Over here, I'm going to sand all these. Stain it epoxy. This is going to make a mess. same time I'm working on the uh, cabinet I'm doing some laundry in this mini washing machine I highly recommend uh, one of these washing machines if you live off-grid made life very easy It's not quite complete yet, but it's getting there. I gotta get the drawer faces put on the next time I come home. I had been shoveling on the uh, huge snow drift that was on the trail for several days, and I'm finally able to get past it. So here's that snow drift that creates problems for me all winter long and into spring breakup. With all the rain that we got last summer, this section of the trail has eroded and uh, I'm getting high centered on this. And thing for the winch. I'll just uh, run this out and attach it to this tree and be out of here in no time. section of the trail was an issue all last summer towards the end of summer and I'm going to have to do something about it. I'm going to cut a, a new section of trail around this and let this grow over. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut a new path right through over here. That rut is getting too deep to get through.
time to break out the little Honda tiller and get down to the garden. I'm going to get that tilled up and uh, mess around with the garden today. So this is going to be a 12 by 40 high tunnel greenhouse and right over this way it's going to be another 12 foot by 40 foot outside garden I'm going to have to take that tree out that small one over there <clears throat> remove all this tundra off the top and uh, get it all tilled up seems to be pretty rich soil I attempted to grow some stuff in it last year late late in the season that didn't turn out very well radishes started taking off but spinach and lettuce didn't come up and the potatoes didn't do too well although I started out with some pretty bad seed potatoes so I'm gonna plant some potatoes uh, lettuce spinach radish and probably some carrots so run back up to the cabin get the seeds and uh, a couple gardening tools and I'll uh, get going on this and uh, next time I'm home I will be sinking these uh, posts down into the ground a little more that will anchor the hoops they'll all be cut off at two feet so they'll be sticking up about that far I'll have to cut a bunch of them off I'll put a laser level on them Get them all cut off at two feet nice and level bend the hoops put the hoops up and i don't know if i'm going to get around to doing the plastic this year 
I need two people to do the plastic. I'll, I could probably do it myself, but I have to pick a day when there's no wind. And here's all the poles that I'm going to bend. It'll take two poles to make the hoops. But I got a big drill bit that if I do run into rock, I'm going to take the uh, rotary hammer drill and get to work on the rock. And then I'll anchor the uh, post into the rock. It needs to be anchored pretty well to keep the whole assembly from blowing away. Although I sit down in a bowl here, I don't think the winds are too terrible down here compared to on top of the hill. You can see the cabin up there. I do intend to get it all fenced in. I'll sink some posts. Give me about four or five feet on each, each side. And that fence will run down this way for the outside garden. So it'll be 100 feet on either side. And then each end will be uh, 25 feet. So I need 250 feet of fencing. I'm going to put up a battery, a uh, solar panel, a little solar charge controller, and an uh, electric fence charger. So the fence will all be electrified. Keep the moose out is the, the main concern. What I'm about to plant today, I'm not expecting it to survive, but if it does, great. If it doesn't, no big deal. Probably won't have the high tunnel up and running until next year sometime. Hopefully. That way I can uh, start growing my own vegetables. It'll also have rain gutters on either side of the uh, high tunnel plastic. So all the rain that sheets off of the top of the high tunnel will flow into the gutters. And I'm going to have a barrel on each end. And then from the barrels, I'll have a spigot down the bottom. And then at the top, it'll flow down a, uh, a pipe, which will automatically water the garden. Then if I need water, I can uh, hook a pump up to the spigot on the base of the uh, water cisterns and uh, spray the garden down with a hose. That'll also run off of this 12 volt battery that I'll have down here for the solar and electric fence. So every time it rains and fills the barrels, then it'll leak inside the uh, high tunnel. So any excess water is what's gonna come in here when I'm away. So it'll kind of auto water. It may water too much, it may not water enough, but that's the best I can do. We'll give it a shot and see how it works out.
So I'll run through here with the chainsaw and create this uh, detour. The other side of the trail, I'll just let that grow over. Perfect timing for the sun to finally come out. It's been days and days since I've seen the sun. <laughs> 